Okay, Julio, taking a look at your swing here. It's a pleasure meeting you today. Uh, we did some great work. You hit some terrific shots. So we're certainly working on the right fundamentals. We just need to get you to do it more consistent. So you had a couple problems. One is that you would hit top shots or you would strike the ground before the ball. So basically the club would bottom out too early. So we talked about how A, first you need grass contact, that's the first step to get rid of the top shots. Um, and then we need the divots to be more forward, basically in front of the ball. So you want to hit the ball, then the grass. So you have a good setup, good grip, good backswing. This all looks very good. So from here, I really want you to shift your weight onto the left leg and turn your body, hips, upper body, so they point towards the target. It's not bad, but you're a little flat footed here. You should have a little bit more body turn in these frames. You can see how it's just kind of your arms going through. <clears throat> this particular shot wasn't bad. This is at the end of the lesson so we worked on it and you certainly got a lot better at it you can see how a on this shot you're hitting the grass see a nice explosion getting some turf moving which is great and you're not I think you just struck just a little bit behind this one Andy that's a pretty nice finish overall your right knees up towards your left you can see how your right hip is level with your left hip, your right shoulder is level with your left shoulder, so we can't see the left hip or left shoulder. That's pretty good right there. Um, that's through a little bit of practice, and, and you certainly got better balancing on that left leg. So you need to learn how to finish like this, opposed to hanging back on your right side, your right foot, having a lot of weight back there. Because if you hit the grass with all that weight back there, it will land way too close to the ball, or way too close be before the ball. You won't hit the ball first. So it's always good to study what the best players in the world do. I'm going to take a look at Adam Scott. He's the second ranked player in the world right now. So you can see how, watch on his swing. You see him move his, I'm going to put a line, on his hip, put a line on your hip, you can see how he, you see him shift the weight, shifts the weight onto the left leg, see that club descending, strikes down and then hits the ball. See the turf fly right there. Turf flies up. Look how much weight shift he's moved in front of that red line. Turf. Now watch him finish. See he's in that perfect balance position that uh, you're working on and getting a lot better. His right foot is straight up this way. Right knee up to the left knee, hip, everything forward. You don't get, you're all right there, but this is kind of where nothing's really moving except for the arms. If you watch Adam Scott in those frames. So look at the body move too. Hips are turning. So basically, you just need to continue working on turning your body so your chest and your hips face the target, right knee up to the left knee, and all your weights on the left leg represented by this foot being straight up in the air. So that is your solution to hitting the ball solid. You need to first get the grass contact, make some practice swings, bounce the club off the ground, get the feel for that, and then the second part is making sure your divots are forward 
ahead of the golf ball and that is accomplished by transferring your weight, turning your body, balancing on your left foot. And then the other thing we worked on was the direction. When you hit the ball solid, sometimes it would go to the left. That is because the club face came in closed and it would be pointing to the left. So basically the club face would hit the ball like this. And so you can see how that would <clears throat> send the ball to the left. We want to try to have the club face come in that way. If you did do that, you'd hit the ball to the right. But in trying to do that, you'll probably just get it straight. And then you get a straight shot. So we talked about on the backswing, the first two feet of the swing, the club face needs to open up. This is really good here. So you can see how the club face is like this. That's perfect. It's also not swung to the inside over here, the club head. So it goes a little bit out. You see how it's outside your hands and pointed up. Before, the club face would have been pointed face down towards the ground in a closed position. So when it came back to the ball, it'd be pointed left and the ball would go away left. Take a look at Adam Scott. So you can see how you two are in very similar positions here. Here's his club face. It's pointed up towards the sky. It's right across from his hands. Your club face is here, point up towards the cut sky, right across from your hands. Perfect position to hit the ball straight. So these are the, basically the two things you need. You need a more open club face, then you need to work on hitting the ground and transferring your weight onto your left leg and turning your body through. And if you do that, you'll hit the ball solid and you'll hit the ball straight. And this game will be a ton of fun. So not all golf shots are perfect. Be patient with yourself. You'll have some good ones and some bad ones. But working on these fundamentals, you will definitely get better. I'm looking forward to working with you again on Monday and continuing the progress.